Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross video on adding or subtracting algebraic fractions with a factorised quadratic in one denominator. So we're trying to add, in this case, these two algebraic fractions. And notice we've got a quadratic denominator here. Quadratic because if you were to expand this out you'd have an x squared term. And it's already factorised for you. Can you also notice that in these two different denominators, we have the x plus 1 in common? And if that happens, then it makes it easier for us to add these algebraic fractions. Because remember what we usually do when we add fractions. If I had, for example, 3 over 5 plus 7 over 10, then what we could do is we could just multiply top and bottom of that fraction by 2, because then that 5 times by 2 becomes 10 and you'll have the same denominator. So the 5 becomes 10, the 3 times 2 is 6, and then because we've got the same denominator now, they're both 10, 6 tenths plus 7 tenths is 13 tenths. So notice we didn't have to change both fractions here, we only had to change the first fraction, we left the 7 tenths as it was. And that's the case here as well, because we already have the fact of x plus 1 in common in both of these denominators. So just like here, I multiplied the 5 by 2 so they were both 10. Just think with this fraction here, what could you multiply this denominator by so that it's the same as this denominator over here? Well, the x plus 1, I could just multiply it by 2x minus 3 because then you'll have 2x minus 3 times x plus 1, which is exactly what we've got here. Then you'll have the same denominator. So this fraction here, I'm going to multiply the denominator by 2x minus 3, but it also means I have to times the numerator by 2x minus 3 as well. So we get x brackets 2x minus 3, and then the bottom, the x plus 1, which I'm just going to put in brackets, because now I can times that by the 2x minus 3. And then we've still got this here. So now this is great because we've got the same denominator which means I can just add the numerators. So we've got x brackets 2x minus 3, 2x minus 3, plus the 9x plus 4, all over the 2x minus 3, x plus 1. Now, we're going to expand this bracket because then we're going to be able to collect like terms. However, I'm not going to expand this denominator. And the reason is, is because it might cancel with something in the numerator. We're going to see. So if I just expand this, we've got the x times the 2x, which is 2x squared. We've got the x times the minus 3, which is minus 3x. we still got that plus 9x plus the 4. And we've got the 2x minus 3, x plus 1. I'm running out of space. So if we collect like terms, that's 2x squared plus 6x plus 4 all over 2x minus 3x plus 1. Now, because I've run out of space, I've got onto the other side of the paper. But as I said, we shouldn't expand this out, this denominator, because actually, if we factorise this, this simplified numerator, it might cancel with something at the bottom. So notice first, so can you see all of these terms in the numerator have a fact of 2 in common? So I'm going to factorise that out. And now this factorises further because x squared plus 3x plus 2, that is just a, a bog standard quadratic. Remember we find two numbers which add to give that middle number of 3 and times to give that constant term at the end of 2. What are those numbers? They're 2 and 1. So you could therefore factorise this as x plus 2 and x plus 1, making sure we still got that 2 on the front. So we have this. Oh, and that's brilliant because can you see we have an x plus 1 in the numerator and the denominator. And remember, we can simplify fractions by just dividing top and bottom by the same thing. So we can just divide top and bottom by x plus 1, and we're left with 2 brackets x plus 2 over 2x minus 3. You could expand out this numerator to put 2x plus 4 over 2x minus 3, but there's no need to. That would just be as simple as 2x plus 4. But that is the final answer.